Hey guys, Level Cap here. Today is Monday, which means it's time for an episode of Loadout, the series where you guys, the viewers, get to pick a gun and customization for me to use. The way you do this is you leave a comment down below letting me know what kind of weapon and accessories you'd like me to run with, and I will pick one of the top rated comments for the next episode. For the primary, we'll be using a secondary weapon, the Mare's Leg, which is kind of like a secondary sniper rifle. We're gonna use it naked with no attachments, and we're gonna use a desert camo. Sidearm will be the primary weapon, which is the 870 MCS pump action shotgun. No sights, no attachments, heavy barrel, so I think I'm just going to put the full choke on there, and then any desert camo. Gadget 1 is the first aid pack, Gadget 2 the M26 mass shotgun, then we'll be using an incendiary grenade and a bowie knife. You are the Wild West Chief and you need to rule the deserts with some shotgun madness. Use the Mare's Leg Winchester for this case as your main weapon and dominate the battlefield with some teamwork. Use the first aid to heal yourself in the worst case scenarios and the M26 mast as your last resort weapon. When you have multiple cowboy threats, first use the winch Winchester as your main and use the 870 MCS as your secondary weapon. Play the community map if possible or just 60 hertz map servers. And here we are on the community map as you can see the textures have been updated a little bit with their height maps. No color yet but I imagine that's coming pretty darn soon. I like this map actually. It's a lot of fun. The jungle environment I can see being even more fun once the color comes in and players don't stand out quite so much. And the combat changes pretty drastically depending on what capture point you're on. You could be in a heavily wooded capture point with lots of trees and bushes or you could be on like the temple over by the waterfall which is much more structured uh, and has kind of a more urban feel to it at least in the way that the combat flows and I gotta say I'm really excited to see what the finished version of this map looks like now as far as this loadout goes running with a mare's leg without any attachments is really really difficult I actually like the mare's leg as a sidearm specifically but when you don't run any optics on this and you use the iron sight you have this big stud in the center of it that doesn't give you any accuracy and this weapon is all about headshots if you don't get a headshot you're gonna lose the firefight with this gun unless your opponent totally sucks because uh, you're gonna need on average about three body shots at super far range you can take up to four shots to down your opponent with the mare's leg so you have to hit him in the head there's no real alternative to that and with this giant stud in the middle of your iron sights you just can't be that precise so basically the only value of this weapon gets taken away when you're running iron sights and I wish they kind of reworked the iron sights on frankly a lot of guns but having those giant studs there just does not work when trying to be accurate. Now personally I haven't looked down the iron sights of this specific rifle in real life but I have looked down the iron sights of a lot of different rifles and I gotta say many of them allow you to be accurate at 100, 200 yards even. So the idea that you can't be precise with iron sights is certainly a myth. Some iron sights are definitely better than others but you have to remember that many of these weapons were designed from the get-go to be fired with iron iron sights and if it's a war weapon especially it's got to have some sort of long range accuracy and I have a feeling that a lot more people would actually enjoy using iron sights for that authentic feeling if they were just a little bit more accurate or allowed you to be more precise. Now I will say the look of this lever action rifle is really cool and uh, I love using it just for the look of uh, rechambering another round. It does look like I'm shooting in the wild west but stat wise it is just garbage when you're using it with iron sights and even when you're not using it with the iron sights it's basically required to get a headshot with this weapon. Uh, you're going to be out damaged by just about every gun and for medium range engagements holy crap the 870 with a full choke on it is so much more effective than this weapon so there's very very little reason to use it other than just making it look cool in close quarters as for trying to get the maximum effectiveness out of this weapon it would make a pretty good sidearm for somebody running the support class with a large lmg with like 200 rounds or something like that in a magazine this would give you a great long range alternative and here we are playing the updated nighttime version of zavod 311 which i gotta say looks very cool gameplay wise i'm not particularly impressed or enjoying the nighttime maps as much. I think uh, the novelty of them is going to wear off pretty quickly, especially since these maps weren't designed with nighttime in mind from the beginning. So I think that's probably going to be one of the bigger issues that uh, people are seeing with the nighttime maps is you're going to have all these big long range maps that just don't flow particularly well when everything is dark. So it changes things up and it's kind of cool that they're doing this, but I think I would have rather seen one brand new map that was designed specifically with nighttime in mind rather than 
seeing a bunch of older maps being converted for nighttime. Ultimately, it probably would have resulted in a more enjoyable experience rather than a bunch of mediocre experiences. I don't know. If you guys have played nighttime in CTE and you have a different opinion, that's cool. But I really do think it's more of a novelty effect right now that uh, is going to wear off pretty quickly once it comes out. Now back to the Loda, I think we would have gotten better results with this Loda had I had the option to play on some close range masks, but there weren't really many going on in CTE, so that's where the 870 would have been the most effective. It was somewhat effective on certain capture points on the jungle map, but the Mare's Leg uh, with Iron Sights, I basically need kind of a medium to close range situation to get some hits with it and then transition to a shotgun to like finish them off. Uh, very rarely did I get a lot of headshot kills. Now, if I were to modify this loadout a little bit, putting a scope on the mare's leg would give us a great alternative option. So I'd probably even put an eight time scope or maybe a six time scope on the mare's leg and allow me to actually get some long range kills and then move in for the CQB kills with the 870. That would actually be a good economical loadout Fortunately, the iron sights on this gun are just so bad, it doesn't really work out that way. It's a great concept overall, and I would absolutely like to revisit this uh, setup with a scope after the spring patch comes out. A lot of bolt action sniper players use the shorty shotgun as their sidearm. So in effect, it's kind of like the same idea, except you have a better shotgun and a worse sniper rifle. So that pretty much wraps it up for this episode of Loadout. Don't forget to leave your comments down below letting me know what you would like to run with and uh, make sure those comments are mostly geared at sort of a tactical mindset or at least they have a specific goal in mind. If it's a troll Loadout, chances are I'm not going to pick it even if it is the highest rated comment. As always guys, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. This is Level Cap signing off.